Hello guys and welcome to another Scrap and Irish Sunday Night Scrap Chat. So, um, first off, tell me if the sound and everything is okay because I've been having a few internet issues today. So, oh, let me go and mute that on the YouTube side. Um, so, let me know guys if um, everything is okay in the chat or um, what's the picture quality and the sound like because as i said uh, my internet has been playing up i've been watching videos it's been freezing and stuff like that today so uh hopefully everything is coming back okay so uh how has everyone been hit the like guys again don't forget to hit that like and on your way in if you don't mind a little bit of coke not coca-cola not coke coca-cola um so um gulf coast welcome in good to see you sir um so let's go back to the top of the chat and see who's in first so it was jct so jct appreciate you coming in uh poos mate electronic scrapper see you scrapping and gulf coast so you guys are the first ones in so how is everyone today on this sunday um here in ireland the weather was pretty wet for the day uh, got a little bit of scrapping done now as much as I wanted to get done. Um, but so hopefully um, you're where you are. It was a bit better. I see um, See you scrapping saying it was a gloomy, rainy day today. Uh, so staying indoors. So um, good to see that you're A-OK. -okay. David Young, good to see you. I've seen the uh, cool stickers you sent to uh, Ralph Morick. Pretty cool, uh, all them stickers and um, that bar and everything uh bobby holden welcome in good to see you sir um hope all is good with you um and that's kind of it the link is there if anyone wants to come up uh what do i want to chat about today probably uh tips for new scrappers i think is what i've put in the the chat uh, description so like advice tips what tools you should have uh stuff like that starting off with scrapping i think one of the most important tools is probably your snips for cutting cables when you're going around so if you just want to even collect the cables as you're going around uh cable snipping uh sometimes people don't have room for all the white goods or the uh, vacuum cleaners and stuff like that so all they want is the copper cable so snips is probably one of the tools that i'd advise people to have um always with them so even if you're a full-time scrapper part-time scrapper hobbyist whatever always have a snips in the car you never know when you're going to go by somewhere and you're going to see uh something that has a cord attached to it thrown inside of the road or thrown outside some in a skip or whatever and you mightn't have the room for everything but if you have a little snips with you you can get them cords and they can add up um so that's what i'd advise um i've been trying to scrap out a lot of uh stuff in the shed so i was on uh Raphael's live last night for a while so i was scrapping out while we were up on that um and i've seen ian matthews is finally getting on top of clearing out his um shed so hopefully um he can keep on top of that and get everything cleared out uh does anyone here know who uh make youtube logos um well you can make them yourself on i think it's canva is it that you can use or um i got who did i get who did i get my mid is that company called fever or fiver um they're called i think i got that's where i got my logo done uh cost me something like ten dollars i think to get the logo designed hey brizzy boy welcome in good to see you sir um so yeah it cost me about ten dollars i think it was david young to get it done so if you go on that site and you look for logo designers and um you tell them what you want your logo to be kind of and they'll a lot of crowds will come up with four or five different logos for you and then you can pick whichever you, you want and pay them for it um it's probably one of the cheaper ways or get it made yourself um so everyone just saying hi to each other so well if everyone is just going to be talking there and no one's coming up for the moment i have this box oh i can't really see it with the thing but hopefully you can see it now a bit better can you know they i keep disappearing in the green screen damn green screen let me pull it back no still won't work the box just won't show on the green screen 
Um, but we'll open the box anyhow. Where is my knife? This is something I picked up on that e waste pickup in the skip, actually, on the just outside that e waste pickup place. So I think I showed people already what's in these boxes. But if I didn't, we'll get to see them now. Let me open this up. Hey, you know it's bro. Good to see you, sir. Uh, what's that site called again? Uh, let me find it here for you, actually, um, David. And I'll put a link into the site. Um, uh, it, it, uh, I uh, don't want to go in. I don't want to continue. I just want to get the link for David. Copy that. And go back to YouTube chat. Da, 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 da. So put that in for David. Paste. So there you go, David. That's the website there. Um, where I got my logo done up, and um, uh, yeah, Rav, uh, we're just uh, talking about you. I see you scrapping. Uh, da, 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 da. What's in the box? Well, you'll see now what's in the box in a second. Open the box. So. <laughs> Now you can't see the box because the green screen is blocking it out top, probably. Um, so, sorry about that, guys. Um, you can see the knife, just about. Green screen is playing up tonight. Hey, uh, Optimus Prime, welcome in. How are you doing? So, the box contains another box. Well, again, you can't see it because... My green screen just join with him turning off that green screen for a minute um because i don't think you can see it on my side it's not showing up let me see if it's showing up on the youtube side uh go to youtube mm, pretty poor uh eh, showing up a bit, not really great so i'm going to turn off that green screen tonight because i think it's to do with the lighting and uh, maybe if i turn off this light will that help it no not really uh green screen off oh, settings uh standard 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 uh virtual background and no oh, there we go so for a while i'll turn that off uh so right so we have one box and inside of that box is four more boxes so we'll take them out Hey, Cruiser Mac, good to see you. Um, Earl, good to see you. Uh, and let's see, JCT in the game. Uh, good to see you again, JCT. You were first in tonight. Uh, right, so that box can go over there for a minute. And um, then we have this other box. So we'll open this other box now. And in that box, we have the, oh, these little devices. So these are like um, telephone modem cord extenders. So I've got a lot of them, no value at all for resale. Around here, anyhow, no one really uses telephones anymore or the old type modems. It's all the internet um, fiber and stuff like that now. Hey, E-Waste Mike, good to see you. Uh, there's a bomb in the box. Um, so, good to see you, E-Waste Mike. So, just a bit of cardboard. And we have one of these, which had the little extenders on them. Um, so, I'll be cutting off them ends. And, yes, Pooh's mate, I will hopefully... There you can see the little gold inside them. Hopefully, soon have a video on that for you. Um, because it was, I've done a bit of a but then when I found all this stuff, I have to add more to that video. And then we also had oh, 
all of these so again some gold little pins in there i know mike is in and he loves this sort of stuff um we have some gold pins in there we have more little if i can get it to shine on it oh focus focus no well nearly gold pins in there anyhow i uh, don't know are these brass or are they just uh steel i'd have to investigate that a bit further and again we have more gold pins up here so i have to get all them out of there uh yeah so i've a couple of boxes of them to take apart and uh, let me see uh david you did it i have flu right now so cruiser mac is suffering from the flu um trash can anyways mike is saying i should put them in uh please put that video up soon irish i'll try to boost me try to it's just i'm so busy with other stuff trying to get rid of a lot of big stuff first and scrap that out and do videos on that i'll try and get that video done as quick as i can but i also have to debox all these and um there we go so there were probably good little items in the day um i might just see if i can see is there a value on ebay there for these while we're all talking um let me go to ebay uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are they called? Phone modem extension cords. Let's have a look and see. Phone modem cord. And it was made by T A R. US and see if we can find any of them. Actually, they're on eBay. They sell at eleven sixty two. Um, the exact same pack as this at eleven sixty two. Uh, brand new uh, from the United Kingdom. Um, is there any way of seeing how many they would have sold? Has anyone sold them before? So they were ten, they're ten pound in the UK. Um, brand new, unboxed, same as what I have. Uh, Boba doesn't say how many they have sold. Does anyone know how you find out if it's a good seller on eBay? I thought there was some way. You can put it into a search and see how many of them have sold or something like that. Uh, to, to, to advanced, maybe. Sold listings. That's what I wanted. Uh, 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 and search again. So this should tell me if they sell. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll be back to the chat in a second, guys. Um, M O E. M cord and it's called I don't usually sell on eBay I don't know you know why I'm looking because I probably still won't do it anyhow uh, then someone else is selling it again at around 8 quid then someone has 580 but it's not this exact same pack uh, do, do, do. Mm, I don't know. Will I list it or won't I? Uh, anyway, let's get back to the chat. Forget about that. Uh, who's made? Who's made? Who's made? Uh, should say in the listings. Yeah, I was looking for that, but um, doesn't look like it's a real big seller looking at it here on eBay. Um, so I don't know. How many have I? Uh, how many's in the box? There is 10 in a box, and I have one, two, three, four, that's 40, and another 40 over there is 80. So 80 of them. Uh, be good if I could get a tenner each for them, that'd be 800 quid. But knowing me, I'll probably just scrap them out. Um, right, we've been on waiting on baiting bread to find out if there's a market for them. <laughs> yeah, you can all check and see there. See, could you find me a market for them? Or does anyone want to give me an offer for all these 80 of them? And I'll um, let you sell them. But knowing me, I'll probably just scrap it out. 
because I like doing stuff like that uh, where there's less hassle for me. Scrap it out and um, I've done it. Anyhow, tips, guys, for all you scrappers out there. What is the one tool you cannot do without? What is the one thing we all know Ian Matthews always reaches for his hammer? Let me see if my green screen will work any better now. Uh, do, 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 do. Virtual background, boom, and no, I'm not sure if it's still working or not. Um, uh, sell them uh, as a job lot, five or more. Yeah, could be a good plan, five at a time for 20 quid or something like that. Um, Should be a tick box to show sold items. Uh, we're already blah, 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 blah. Uh, so come on, guys. What 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 tool? What what do you need? We all I say Ian Matthews would be a hammer. Would be you'd be all the time using. I'd see Ewis Mike. It's the grinder now. He reckons is his new favorite tool. Um, he was saying it last night on um, Raphael's um, live that the. Um, the favorite tool that he's using the most is the grinder. Um, uh, wire snips, I always l have one of them. They're the handiest tool around for just, even if it's just traveling around, you have it in the car with you and you come across and um, snips. Yeah, exactly. That's it, that's it, Pooh's Maze. Um, um, something like a snips. We're just cutting. Um, I, David Jung says he wants a wire um, stripping machine. Well, David, I have just bought a wire stripping machine and I'm hoping they're saying it has been dispatched today from what country is it coming from? Let me have a look at my emails here. Um, da, 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 wire cutting machine is coming from ba, 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 ba. France. Uh, so it's been dispatched from France today. So hopefully I'll have that Thursday maybe here in Ireland. Um, so I'll give it a run out, test our electric, electric wire stripper. So it should be interesting to see um, what it does. Hey, Sharp Scrapper, welcome in. Good to see you. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite tool is a magnet. Yeah, a magnet is very very handy for scrappers to know what your, whether you have a um, brass or a copper or, well, or is it just metal and stuff like that? Hey, Euro, um, or not sorry, I was going to say your eco scrapper. Uh, good to see you, sir. Um, what's your favorite scrapping tool? What can't you do without? Um, or what would you, if you had, a, like we'd say, David Young said there, a wire stripper is what he'd love to have. So, um, what's the thing, one thing you don't have at the moment and you'd like to have that would make your life a bit easier as a scrapper and maybe? Make it a bit quicker and make it um, more financially viable for you as a scrapper. Uh, my favorite tool is that battery powered uh, cable cutter I, I have. So, there again, so that's another person looking for, would say, the, well, or, or has something for cutting cables. So, it seems to be all kind of like cutting cables, stripping cables, stuff like that that people like to have. Um, da, 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 da. I'm just having a look through the chat there. Link is there, guys, if anyone wants to come up. Um, boom, boom, boom. Four, no, no, no. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting that wire stripper and seeing how it works. It might be a total waste of time, but um, we'll see if it's any good. We'll put it to a test. I'm sure we'll do a video on it when it comes, um, and we'll see, see if it can actually strip them wires Fairly good. And how small of a wire will it strip? It says it does it down as far as. Uh, let's have a look at the information. Um, do, 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 do. Well, let's see if I, uh, it says it'll do 60 foot per minute and plus a uh, hand free design blah 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 um hmm, doesn't really say how small the cord but it's adjustable i can see by the picture uh, i heard a bleep in the basement let me go back and see who's in there ah the good old mr he was mike 
Mike, how are you? <laughs> okay, don't talk to us. I'm trying to put my slipper on. Shut up. <laughs> I'm alright. You bought a what? No, hey, so Rob, on the, on the YouTube you? side, you're you're everything's like blurry. Yeah, the, there's a problem. See, my internet is crap tonight. And here on street on the stream yard, you're fine. It's clear. Yeah, I, I my I don't want it tonight. My internet is just completely and absolutely rubbish. Um, so I don't know what um, I was going to not even do the live tonight because it kept freezing and everything. So, but I said I'll come up and if it'll, I don't know, I might have to call it if it just keeps going terrible. Yeah, because I've even refreshed on my side and it's still blurry there. Oh, now it cleared up. Oh, did you clear up there now? Yeah. Okay, good. Hopefully. At least on my side. I don't know about anybody else. I don't know about anyone else. Everyone else, tell us there. Is it, are you a clear picture or is it blurry and jumpy or freezing? Uh, what kind of stripper did you get um, at, at Scrapping Irish? Oh, you'll have to wait for the video, um, Shark Scrapper, as I always say. Wait for the video. <laughs> So, Mike, what were you at today? I seen, um, I finally got to see Raphael, uh, Ralph's video with the mug and the pillow that you sent him. Yep. Cool. I ain't done nothing today. I'm not going to do nothing today. Yeah. Didn't do anything at all. Didn't go near any bit of scrap. Nope. Been playing Minecraft. Look, never got dressed. <laughs> No, it's, it's raining here. It's damp. It's, I don't feel like being outside. Yeah, it was crappy, crappy, um, crappy yeah. weather here all day as well. But I did get a few things scrapped out. But, yeah. uh, I ordered a uh, which I wanted new new speakers for my computer and another webcam. So I'm kind of watching for the delivery today because I don't want to sit out in the rain. Yeah, you say between three thirty and six thirty. So. I ordered three items this week. I ordered that wire stripper. I ordered some more glass stuff that I want for um because I broke some glassware for the doing the gold recovery. And what was the third item? I can't even oh a water distiller again because my other water distiller that I have I mm. broke as well. So I have three items ordered, but they're dispatched to <coughs> so I'm waiting for the other one to be dispatched. Uh, I love hey, you, Mike. Favorite order? I love you forever, Ralph. <laughs> oh. I, I like oh, what you said. Oh, been... Hello, Scrapping Irish. Even when like? you're dead, I'll even love you more. <laughs> <laughs> I liked what you said, uh, Ralph, about uh, people think it's a bit weird at the, uh, the bromance we're having on YouTube. Yeah. Weird. I'd say a lot weird. <laughs> we don't care. No. Uh, it's fun. I did say hi to Raphael as well, didn't I? When he came in. In case I didn't, hi, Raphael. Hello, Cruiser Oh, hello, uh, Raphael. Cruiser Mac is there as well. Um, yeah, so what's your favorite tool to use for scrapping, um, Ralph, when you're scrapping something? What's the first thing you always have to have with you? Well, I always have my little cheapy, crappy rotary <laughs> tool to, to check if something is brass or copper or, or whatever. That's what I use mainly when I'm like sitting here. Um, when I'm in the garage, I think an angle grinder because I've used it a lot since I got it. That's what Mike was saying last night on um, Raphael's, wasn't it? That <laughs> since he got the angle grinder, the grinder he's been using it all the time. Yeah. yeah. Cutting everything to smaller pieces so it fits in boxes and totes and whatever so that's easier to, to store. Too. Yeah, the discs are cheap, so. Yeah, and I, I actually found quite a bunch of discs uh, at some point. Uh, they were half worn down. And I actually worn one down to the smallest I ever got it. It was it was smaller than the actual um, little thing it was on. Um, <laughs> what you call the little rotary? You, you got that little steel ring that you put around, yeah. uh, on there, yeah. and then you have to tighten it. It only um, uh, stuck out like two millimeters or so from the steel ring. Yeah. Just, yeah. You're you're like Ian Matthews. You get real value out of your discs. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, I was I, I actually was reminded of Ian Matthews. I was like, oh, so this how how it feels to be Ian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe when Ian's last video he done was it yesterday or something like that. He's actually getting rid of stuff out of the yeah. show. Yeah. 
he's, yeah. he's actually doing what he said he was going to do. So hopefully... I've been doing that. I've been doing that for the last year or so. Yeah, I have so much up. stuff gathered. But he does have that pile in the corner of his bench that winter work. You know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the winter work. Yeah. The winter work. I saw that. I was kind of laughing. <laughs> winter work let's see does this thing work yeah i think yeah, snips, always have a snips in your car if you're going anywhere if you're into scrapping you'll always find something thrown inside the road with a cord on it so even if you can't take the item oh yeah yeah i i have um um i got one of those really cheap ones for like four euros and i always have it in my pocket uh even even when i'm at work and i have one in my toolbox uh for work which is of course uh, of higher quality mm. but i always have this one with me if there's uh, some type of uh, large appliance that I can't really take with me, just snip the cord. Yeah. What's that bright light behind you, Ralph? Are you going to the light? This is uh, something I found, actually. Oh, you know what? From the, the way it looked, it looked like it was in the other room. You did, yeah. yeah. It looked like it was on the yeah, fire wall. <laughs> because the way, yeah, it was hooked. It, it was like touching that thing there, like right there. But it looked like, see, it looks like it's like way back there. Yeah. Okay. No, it's uh, nice. something I found. And uh, it's actually, it, it works. So it is somewhat useful. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep this. This is the. It was in a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to scrap, but not this. A good time to ask you this perfect question. What is the question? Why is you uh, so awesome? And the shark wants to know: is it a snip or schnips? Sh sh snips. <laughs> snips. <laughs> it's like you when you say I slept with her or I slept with her. Who do you love more, me or you as Mike? Sorry, David, I've known Mike for over four, for almost four years now. So I think for four years. And I've only known you for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it first comes, first serve, I guess. So if you want to move up up uh, into the, in the line, David, you know you have to kill Mike to move up the line. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm ready. I'm going to put up but the I, I do love this pile of uh, World of Warcraft stickers. Yeah, uh, cool. I, I really like the you noob one. That's actually brilliant. I'm going to use that a lot, probably, if someone's on a panel and <laughs> doing silly things. Uh, See, Dave, gifts don't just buy love, buddy. <laughs> It has to. You have to. You have to have that chemistry already. You see, yeah, it has it to helps. be that attraction. <laughs> I subscribed to Mike when he had like thirty-five subscribers, I think ish. Yeah. No, I had less even, I think, but whatever. Yep. <sighs> now I have. Now I think I have fifty. Yeah, the rest. The rest is just fake. Yeah, <laughs> fakers. And I could do with it about 48 of those that I have. <laughs> out of the 50. I right, have to plan out op bearded man, Operation Bearded Man. <laughs> <laughs> send me an don't email. Open... I'll send you my uh, address and all that shit. You know, I'll help you out. Don't, don't open any strange packages from David Jong in the next while, Mike. <laughs> they could explode. That's not worried. David so is actually thinking. The, um, Ralph, what were you at for the day? Oh, um, I was uh, taking apart uh, three projector screens that uh, I've uh, had since 2008-ish. Um, and I planned on hanging one on uh, on my wall here, but I ended up just projecting the, the beamer, the projector. There, there you can just tell it's it's over there it's projecting on the other side of this wall and the wall is actually completely white and smooth like you can see here so i don't need a screen so i ended up not using it i had one that was in perfect condition that i sold long ago oh, and i tried to i tried to sell the other ones but they didn't sell so i i just took them apart and one of them was made of completely of aluminium so that was good the others were steel so I had to cut that to little pieces. And in between, David was uh, uh, messaging me, uh, saying that he was thinking of doing a scrapping channel. So cool. well, we might have a new scrapper ch scrapping channel in our midst uh, yeah, cool. uh, in the near future. Hopefully. Well, it'll just take up mine when he kills me. 
<laughs> yeah, true. Take your subscribers as well, all 50 of them. 50 of them. E waste, e waste, David, it'll be called. There you go. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I seen Ian cashed in some of his copper. I thought he was going to keep it for a year, but he's, he's actually cashed some of it in. Yeah, I was shocked. Yeah. Yeah. I like that girl at the scrapyard. She's, she's a trip. Yeah, yeah she's nice, yeah. yeah, yeah With yeah. The, the the black and white thing she was wearing, she kind of looked like a Power Ranger. <laughs> I don't know. Just <laughs> reminded me of Power Ranger. Oh, first thing you see, Power Ranger. <laughs> yeah. I'd say it killed, um, killed Dean to throw all them aluminium sleeve things into the into the shred. And I'd say Mike had a good laugh when he's seen that all he, all he got was shred value for it. Oh, yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> after all his it, effort of stripping them off. If you don't try, you don't know. <laughs> stripping them off and making yeah. them get them all ready and then just put them in the shred. I was, I, surprised, I, I was surprised he threw that stove in the shred. Yeah, so was I. I'm sure. But he, he said it was gone too rusty to do anything much, so. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Ellie, she's always in a good mood. Yeah, she always seems to be in a good mood. Of course. Nice, you love Mike more than me. Then I'm kicking you out of the new top secret channel. Oh god. <laughs> oh dear. And I've been I've been passing him all kinds of ideas, and he loved them, and he's now going to use them without giving me credit. That's called being used, Ralph. I would yes. never do that to you, Ralph. I know. I'm so uh, I'm so used to being used, especially by women. Did you bring uh, Mike's pillow to bed with you last night? Uh, I think it's in my bedroom, yes. <laughs> uh, I got a washing machine that I want the barrel from uh, for a burn barrel. Uh, <laughs> Dave Junk, Shark Scrapper, you are not my new friend. Boy, you go from bad to a worse. A burn barrel. Oh, yeah, we call it like a fire drum or fire... Uh, Pits. Pits, yeah, fire yeah, pits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I go, I go on from a dryer that I'm now filling up with uh, steel. Oh, I actually took a picture to show David what I was doing. Let me see. Uh, there it is. It's a drum, drum from a uh, dryer that I'm filling up with all kinds of shred steel. There you go. Yeah. <coughs> there are big Oh, and there's, there's, there's the grinder with the tiny little disc on it still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, well, let, I can probably make that bigger. Uh, you get tired of that disc, didn't you? Yeah, you, you can see there's hardly any disc left. <laughs> Pretty good. See? Oh, my God. <laughs> and it still has the guard on, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to see you have the guard on it. I've never taken it off, not once. I you, you can move it around a bit. So and I at some point I said it like it is now and just left it like that. If you yeah. want a challenge, take it off. Yeah, no. Yeah. If you want to see um how we can eat a t shirt, take it off. Yeah. I never put mine back on. <laughs> oh yeah, and I got one of those boilers uh with, with the copper uh, copper drum and I'm now filling up the copper drum with uh all those copper noodles and little pieces of uh of stuff uh and by the time it's full, uh, the drum alone weighs two kilograms. By the time it's full, uh, I'm going to take the whole thing into the scrapyard. Uh, I think it's uh, that that would that would be random copper goes for like six fifty over here. Oh, okay. Number two here. Basically number two, yeah. yeah. I wish I had a big shed. If I had a big shed like um, something like what Raphael has, I definitely oh yeah, I definitely be able to collect a lot more stuff. Well, it's just I can't. You see how small the shed is that I'm in. So it's, um, there's no. I wonder room. if Raphael has a picture of that place when it was empty. Yeah. Be interesting. Wonder to see what it was like before he filled it up. Yep. I remember, uh, looking at a house to buy with an ex girlfriend at some point, and we found one not too far from here that had a huge. Uh, underground basement with a uh, all kinds of separate rooms, and there was even a uh, basement in the basement that went slightly deeper. That was the wine cellar, mm. and um, 
there was a uh, basically a, a drain in the corner of the wine cellar for if there was flooding. So that went down like a couple of more meters. I was, I was like a, to, to my then girlfriend, I thought we could dig deeper into there and then make a giant underground cave. <laughs> hey, Jules, welcome in. Yeah. I store, store all my, my ingots. <laughs> he said he does have a picture of an empty. Oh, well, you'd have to show us that picture next Saturday on your live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look that up. Yeah. It oh, was never empty. <laughs> on the Shetland Isles. It was never empty. <laughs> oh, Lord. What mess is this? Who's made it? Uh, I forgot to bring my thing on my jigger back. And my, uh, my bin that I dump all the plastic in. Dang it. No, I have to use this. Finger my jigger. Yeah. That's a professional term. <laughs> you see, is that all um, behind you, Rav? Is that the aluminium there from the fish challenge thing? This? Uh, yeah. yeah. There. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do with it? I'm, I'm going to set, set, it, set it right right here to show off. Okay. For now, <laughs> when the place is uh, when the place is uh, nice and cleaned up, I maybe I set it up somewhere in the in the living room. I don't know. I've got a big open top in front of my house, uh, but only tiles, nothing to scrap. Scrap it. Because Max said, "Scrap it." <laughs> So, Mike, you're not connecting. You were saying last night on, um, was it, was it on one year on your video or something that you're, or was it on Raphael's that you're telling all your customers you're not, you're not going to do any collections at all in December, is it? And you do no, that I, every year. I usually stop uh, December 30th <clears throat> for the year. Okay. Unless the scrapyards have something because they're a contract, you know, so I have to. Okay. <coughs> uh, Scrapping Irish, uh, after I've got done editing, uh, I put up uh, outside lights. I know how much you love the early decorations. Oh my god! <laughs> it's getting closer, Anio. It's only today is what the twenty seventh. So um, Ooh, on Thursday, Thursday from onwards, from Thursday onwards, I, I, I will not. I will be happy for people to put up their Christmas stuff. But before then, you're just sad. <laughs> Mike, do you put any Christmas decorations up at all? Really? Oh, tomorrow Dragonflight comes out for yeah, World of here. Warcraft. Mm. Put some lights on this. <laughs> <laughs> and then stick it where the sun don't shine so that there's extra light. Glassboards right. for trash. Uh, Glassboards for trash and everything else gets recycled. Now, over here, we don't burn the plastic on uh, American order. Plastic goes into recycling as well here in Ireland. Uh, Scott Nash, do you have... Burn my plastic? A, uh, custom fee when someone... Isn't that illegal? Uh, yeah, if anything is sent to me as well, the same as it's the uh, same as um, same as what happened to Ralph there. If anything has a value wrote on the envelope, customs will, because I'm part of the EU as well. So um, yeah. same, just just ask um, what's called that Shark <coughs> Scrapper. Shark Scrapper thought he was doing oh, yeah. Shark was sending me M and M's about this time last year, I think it was for Christmas. He sent me a rake of M and M's, and um, he, he thought he was doing a great thing. He said he went to the crowd before and said, oh, I want to pay the customs or whatever. So he paid whatever custom charge it was. And then when it came to me, I still had to pay the customs charge. So whoever he paid the customs charge to seen an opportunity to make money because customs always paid in the country of uh, that it arrives in, not the, yeah. not the when, country. When I send you what I'm sending you, I'm putting the value at like $500. You better not put a fucking value. I'm fucking you up. <laughs> Here's some stickers, five hundred dollars. Right, right. One sticker. One yeah, you know, sticker. Oh, if you want that? Uh, it's uh, thirty percent of that. Oh, so we need uh, we need one hundred and eighty dollars off you. Yeah, you, can, you can just put like a gift though. Yeah, like, yeah, you can put a gift on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, then you are right. Gift value five bucks, then you yeah. should be okay. Yeah. Gift value one thousand dollars. Oh, <laughs> that's some gift. Oh yeah. A uh, but when you when you send stickers in an envelope, you can get one of those international stamps, which yeah. is like what one one twenty, one fifty. I'm not sure. Two two. Yeah, no, some, yeah. Something, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And that's not too expensive. And then that just goes. Yeah, those. Yeah, yeah they, they, they change color them. every year. 2020 it was the red one yeah yeah it's yeah, cool that they they now are stickers and no longer have to lick them it's disgusting unless you like lick stuff well i don't like the taste of that crap <laughs> <coughs> isn't that yeah. isn't that sticky stuff made of um isn't there gelatine in it i think i don't know i think it is i think the back of them stamps were used to be gelatine or something used to be on yeah the and <laughs> jelly over. And that's made uh, of uh, uh, pig and stuff. So Muslims yeah. were not not allowed to put stamps on their... Look at that uh, scar on my mail. face. Look at that. You've got a what? what? Looks like I have a scar on my face. Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah, what's that? Did you bang your head or did someone punch you or what? Yeah. Yeah. He was David, lying down. David, David got lying me. Down. David snuck over David. here and got me. That's yeah. how quick he was. Uh, Melted down the horse? That's a down horse. <laughs> That's what the stamp sticky stuff is made out of. Melted down horse. Oh. Uh, poop oh, horse is a horse, of course, of course. Yeah, exactly. Tastes nasty. I don't like it. There, there was a guy on um, some program that he, he could sure. uh, taste uh, the stamps, and he could uh, by the taste he knew from which country that they were. <laughs> oh, I see Imagine that. that. He's not feeling good today. Yeah, there's something no. wrong with him. He's, he's hiding. His, his, his mouth don't look right. I don't know if he's got something stuck in there or what. He's been laying there all day, and I went to touch his mouth earlier, and he freaked out. So, hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's not out. I'll go dig a hole. Maybe he has a um, a sore tooth or something. Maybe. I don't know. I, I just did the Silence of the Lambs thing. What? You ever, you ever watching Silence of the Lambs? I've seen that, yeah. Mm -hmm. but what what <clears throat> is the Silence of the Lambs things? There's a lot of things in that movie. Yeah, the one where they, they does the um the big speech and he goes <laughs> with his mouth after. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd say that's what she was on about, I'd say. Is it? Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. I ate his liver with some Chianti and feather beans or something. He said, wasn't it? And he goes... <laughs> <laughs> If you ever come across these things, like like extension cables or, or uh, whatever cables, sometimes you got network cables on on one of those clicky thingies. Yeah. Yeah. Throw those away. Those are very poor quality cables. Uh, you mean like these? Yes. <laughs> what kind of cable is that? Uh, that's the. Um, modem and telephone one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I seen them on eBay in the same package, and we were just on about that earlier. See, you missed it. We we're on about oh. these. They're on eBay for a twelve quid each, and I have eighty boxes, eighty packs of. Okay, then oh. sell them for five. Sell them for five bucks each. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, well uh, is it worth yeah. putting up on eBay? Because oh, they're yeah. they're twelve quid, twelve twelve pound in the UK. They're selling them. On, there's someone on eBay selling them, but um. I have 80 of them. Hmm. So I have to make a decision now. Do I scrap them out or do I sell them, try and sell them on eBay? Uh, the thought of liquor stamps, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Some people really like that. It's not my thing. <laughs> Envelopes, the same thing. If, you, if you're not careful, you can cut your tongue. Ugh. Oh. They have the ones here, you just pull a. Pull this, yeah. They have them now over here as well. You just pull the 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 tab off it, and then it just sticks. Tastes nasty. I have my M and M bar tonight again. This time I didn't go and put M and M crispy. I 
Okay. I thought Radford was frozen for a minute the way he was. But he no, was no, no, no. I was just staring at my phone. In, in the box you found in the skip. Yeah, that was the George. That was the boxes I found in the skip. Two boxes of them. Yeah, just just put them up for five bucks plus shipping. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And if yeah. you have eighty of them, you can be selling them for like a, a year, and, and by the time you run out, uh, you've made quite a killing. Just if you set all the money aside that you get from them, and uh, buy. Well, uh, what God said, I think it was David Jung or someone said there to maybe sell them in batches of five. So oh yeah, in, ba in batches you could also sell them in batches. Yeah, put them up like maybe a tenner each or five for thirty quid, something like that. You know. Yeah, so. something like that. Yeah. yeah. That'll work, yeah, usually. But I'd probably just end up cutting the ends off them. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I can't be bothered selling stuff anymore. Well, you see, if I, if I wasn't working full-time, then I would probably do more selling the stuff on eBay and that. But when you're working full-time, the last thing you want to do when you come home in the evening is start getting packages ready to post <clears> out. <throat> hmm. Yeah, scrap value will be nothing, but... Yeah. As, as everyone knows, I'm not about making money. I'm about losing money. Isn't that right, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's right. They have a propane heater, like a torpedo heater, that runs off a of propane or a battery. Okay. Oh look, here's another one of those silly item. Here's a, here's another silly item. One of those What's extra extra job? pads. I am a manager in a retail store. Yeah, Check it out. Keyboard. Extra, extra little part of a keyboard. If you have a laptop that doesn't have this bit. Silly buggers. Hmm. Away with this crap. Away with this. Yeah. Nobody, Nobody likes you. I think I'm going to buy this. Oh, I have a plate in the shit. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It, it's it's the Mr. Mr. Rome himself. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, folks. So Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everyone in chat. Oh. So mm -hmm. we'll be, yeah. Well. The big question. Are you still getting rid of stuff? We, 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 we've had a setback. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here that we go. Keep Here was we merely go. a setback. He, was back, he drove back after he put all the stuff into the scrapyard. Drove back and begged him to give him back everything, didn't you? <laughs> oh no, 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 the epiphany is still real. It's still a whole body. <clears throat> it's, it, it's, I need, I, but, uh, hmm. best if I show you, really. <laughs> Look, um, another scrap of lunch? No, no, can you see that great big box? Yes. What's that? It's an outdoor storage box. A waterproof, oh. a waterproof outdoor storage box. What you got up. in there? A body? I've got nothing in there at the moment because oh. it, it was full of water. <laughs> didn't let water in or didn't let water out? It let water in, it didn't let water out. So maybe I need to fill <laughs> some holes in the bottom. I don't know. So anything that was in there, and I've had to bring in here. So whatever space I created, I brought in more than I created. Well, that's not, I, I, I don't mind that because at least you're moving stuff. Like, it's the not getting rid of stuff and keep putting stuff in, that is the issue. Ah, but getting shut of stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm just picking things up and going, I don't want that, cutting it up, gone. <clears throat> Good. I, oh. I'm in that same period right now. And that the funny thing is, I've actually been looking at Ian and thinking, I don't want to end up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, Lord. so Ian, you've inspired me. Says he, you know, I mean, we only ever see that little <laughs> bit clean. That room round the corner could be like 
floor to yeah. ceiling with just a little that, bit. That actually, it, uh, a, a month or five, six ago, that actually looked like your shed. And that's my <laughs> living room. Can you imagine? Oh, the screen screen, you mean? Hey, it's crapping together. Yes, it looked like your green screen, yes. Yeah, the green screen and, where... And that is why I started to get over. rid of everything. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Cruiser Mac. David, yeah. Bruce, mate. George. Raphael. The world is full of <laughs> lonely old men in sheds. The world is full of lonely yeah. old men in their sheds. I'm not lonely. <laughs> I have you people. Uh, hey, Ronry. I'm so Ronry. So why did you? Ca I know you said you cashed in your copper because you needed the space. But could you not have got rid of other junk before you got rid of your copper? That was dangerous. Mm. 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 <laughs> I only got rid of a little bit of the copper. Okay. Some that was in my way. I can, more... I can copper be in your way, but it, it was. There's a lot more stuff in your way there besides copper. Like, oh. Tell me this, tell me this. Uh, how many LED lights have you lying around now that you're planned on putting into the shed? Because they're for about six months solid every week. You had a new LED light. You go, oh, this will look well in the shed. Let me see, can I fix it? So how many have you in there now for the shed? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> There's my point. Hey, LED lights are cool. Look yeah, at I don't need seven in a shed. <laughs> no, but I, when I can get at them, I will. Seed. <laughs> oh, there it is, Matthews. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, cru cruiser. I think cruiser Max sound poorly. Yeah, he, he's um, he's got the flu. Didn't, uh... yeah, a, lot of people have a, a lot of people have the the old dreaded COVID again. There's a big big load of people. Yeah, I, think, I, think I just got over the, I just got over that, but I didn't bother testing. What's point of testing? Yeah, I know. You can't have time off work. You doesn't mean anything, does it? Oh, do you not get time off work over there? We still, if, if you test positive here, you still have to take off take off work. <clears throat> you don't get paid anymore while you're off. You just have to not come into work, but you don't get paid. So no one's testing because no one can afford to be off work. No, no, not at all. But my, my boss says, good work and spread it around. You know, curing is sharing. <laughs> yeah, sharing is caring. I don't, I don't say that word anymore because as soon as I say it, I get it. So. <laughs> I don't say it. I'm still immune, so I'm good. Uh, I'm, still immune. I'm trying to break a record. I don't know what the record is for how many times you can have it, but. <laughs> I'm up to four. From, uh, this and sold. <sighs> so I ordered, Mr. Matthews, I ordered a electric wire stripper yesterday and it's been dispatched today, so I should have it during the week. So we'll see how good it is. Interesting. Then. You mean one of these? I don't know because I, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know how it's going to be like. Well, I can't, I, I've got I've got to do an unboxing, but uh, okay. somebody took pity on me and sent me a wire stripper. Oh well, you see, aren't you lucky that someone said I buy my own wire strippers? You get stuff. You're such a big YouTuber. You get stuff sent to you for free. <laughs> uh, I get I get some cool stuff. Not not wire strippers, but I get cool stickers and mugs and pillows and stuff. Oh, yeah, well, I got them and, and stuff, copper bar, right? copper bullion. Yes, yes, I, I get that sort of stuff. What I mean from, I don't get anything of that sort of value. Like, I see an Xbox in his green screen there. And I, I, I didn't see that before. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an old Xbox. Yeah, no, it's not an million. old one. It's a 360. I yeah, still one. yeah still. well, they're semi old, maybe. I got two of the first Xboxes Make as well. Videos, you know. No, we don't. In Ireland, we don't, we don't get sick day. Um, the companies uh, don't really sick day here in Ireland. I don't know what they do it in, in the UK. But I think from next year onward, they have to pay sick pay. Penal. So sick pay. Have to pay a lot more. Sick pay over here, I think, eighty-five pound a week. Mm. 
Yeah, so it's uh, not but, really worth my ticket. 95 Eco, Eco, Eco leaving. Hey, Eco, That's less than I'm making a day. Appreciate you dropping in. No, Cruiser Mac, it's not dirt rum. It's... Uh, yeah, it's a, it was, he's obviously not watched watch my last video. No, obviously. no, no. Obviously, it, it's a very pale rum. I was rather surprised. They're and you rum. said it was a very smooth rum. Oh, it's very smooth. Uh, the only reason I'm putting coat with it, it's, 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 you know, it's work in the morning, so I'm trying to make a longer drink. Just put that drink on the side for that winter work. <laughs> I've got I plenty. saw that. I I've got plenty of winter work. Plenty. Winter work, yeah. Um yeah, a big pile of winter work. <laughs> oh I, I thought my electrician had fell out with me. I've not seen him for two two weeks. So I, I come out door yesterday and there's a pile of copper bloody dad eye outside my garage door. Copper uh, wire, is it? Wire. Oh, he stripped down to see as well. <laughs> what a guy! Hmm. Five days sick leave, unless you are, are sorry, then crawl to your desk and die. Now, now's the time <laughs> I'm trying to hit up these electricians and shit because the, the prices are down. You probably get a bunch of crap off them. Um, um, sometimes, all space is worth more than money. I mean, it's it really. I tried to say that in my last video. It's relative. I would never weigh in unless price would couple was four per, over four pounds. If it got to four fifty, wow, get in. Well, now we're getting way above that. I got six pound thirteen for that on Friday, and you like you're sniffing your nose, going, "Ah, oh, six thirteen. Now it's been higher. Better off yeah. six fifty. <laughs> It's been over seven, yeah. It's a lot better than four pound odd two years ago. Yeah, but two years ago everything wasn't that expen as expensive as now. Yeah. Who's made has to go as well. So who's made? <laughs> Later, who's made? As always, uh, appreciate it. Uh, who's made? Look after yourself. No, I've raised my workbench up. I can move the bins over four inches. I've got loads more space. Yeah, I seen. Um, when you when you were saying you were going to do raise up the binge, you marked it higher, and then you done it screwed it lower. And I said, why is he screwing it lower when he marked it higher earlier in the video? But then you were putting it on the bottom one, not the top one. So then, then oh, I'm gonna go. freak out my neighbors. I'm gonna stick this next to my front door on the outside. And <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a code to come in. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I've actually oh, there's a there is a an Amazon package here. I succumbed. To the Black Friday Amazon disease. So, what you buy? Uh, I bought a security camera, oh, a oh. Wi-Fi security camera that you can I can stick on front of the garage and operate from my phone. And a you can connect it to your battery permanently. Uh, I'm going to say a battery maintainer, a twelve volt battery maintainer. So I can connect it to my battery, and then at night, I can just plug it in, and it keeps the battery going. Because, you know, I've got a problem with me, with my car. <laughs> yeah, well, we've seen that in the video. you got a new battery. Yeah, so now I don't need the battery maintainer, but I bought it anyway. It was cheap, and uh, it's even cheaper still, because I signed up for Amazon Prime free oh, yeah. trial. Prime. Free trial. So I got £10 off and free delivery. And now you have Prime TV if you want to watch Prime TV as well. I've already got that. I use the neighbours. Let's see if this thing will explode as well. I'm still saving up my copper combined. I must have 400 kgs of wire and a few copper hot water tanks. Oh, come on, George. Yeah, I, saw I, George got, I got nice one copper hot water. water tank. Two and a half grand, nearly. <clears throat> so three, three grand's worth. But what happens if somebody comes in and Pinches it all off you. Tragedy. Tragedy. Or do like, shot, your, do like what your mate just said before, put them in barrels, bury them under the ground and let the elements dissolve them for you. <laughs> my, my, I know somebody who did that. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it's not um, 
water tight or airtight, then uh, it is going to dissolve in, at some point. Yes. Yeah. So, Especially if it, what 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 what's it like over there in different countries about weighing in just before Christmas? Well, I don't know. I think prices are actually up. Looking at uh, the list of prices, uh, but I haven't kept up that much. But it seems like it's higher than it was <laughs> earlier this year. No, every, everyone weighs in around this coming up to Christmas. All the plumbers, all the electricians, they all weigh in everything for the extra bonus money for Christmas. So then they can give their give the guys that's working with them or whatever, give them a little bit of a bonus money without having to to uh, go through. Um, their own savings for it, you know. Yeah, but the, the price drops. That's my opinion. The price drops because everyone knows that there's going to be a glut all of a sudden one week before Christmas. What's called saying there? See you scrapping and saying that he, you know, the hot water tanks in the United States. Well, here in Ireland, they're changing from copper hot water tanks to stainless steel hot water tanks. So the copper tanks are going to be uh, no more in years to come. It's all going to be stainless steel ones. Yeah, the one the one I took apart was uh, twenty four years old. So yeah, that back then they were still copper. Oh, be nice thick copper as well. Yes, the just the tank weighed two kilograms. George is saying that it's three dollars sixty four a pound, or, or four four and a half pounds. Two point two pounds to a kilogram, so it's double that. So it's seven seven point five dollars. So yes. seven. And a half. Seven and a half dollars to a kilogram, which is probably equivalent to six, six fifty. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I don't know what the prices in Ireland are at the moment. Let me see if I can get any copper prices in Ireland up. Copper Ireland at the moment. Let me see. If my other favorite mug, Ralph. Look how big that thing is. Any prices? Oh wow! I put my fist. Damn, where's that from? I had this one made a long time ago. Did I look like a freaking people person? <laughs> yeah, I think it's huge. That's huge, yeah. I've got a cup. Um, per kg here at the moment, copper yeah. prices are 610. 6.10 to 6.20, depending on. And then old brass is... 375 uh bronze is 450 brass is high over here i saw cable is 215 oh brass is dropped brass is dropped over here three three i think it was 370 i think uh, lead over here is 145 a kg at the moment um planting as aluminium is euro um a kg batteries are 65 cent a kg well, we're getting six six hundred pound a ton for batteries. Well, we're getting five. We'd be getting six fifty a ton, so we're getting a bit more over here. Well, we're we're euros, year euro pounds, so it'll be much the same. Uh, yeah, brass over here is four twenty a kilogram. Uh, brass over here is four sixty. Oh, oh wow. no, sorry, brass is three eighty five. Bronze is four sixty. Wow. So you're getting know, bronze, bronze is five over here. Five. Yeah, exactly. you're getting you're getting far better prices over there than we are here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, bare bright copper, uh, number one copper is seven twenty a kilogram, and number two is six fifty a kilogram. They have a, they have a category here called old widia price. What's widia? W i d i a. What the hell is that? No idea. Must be right. another stone. Oh, it's right. old widia steel or lead acid uh, batteries. Or tungsten. Tungsten. That's what they call tungsten. Tungsten. Uh, yeah. So they give you twelve sixty a kg for tungsten. Yeah, electronic scrap is saying. Have I tried any uh, di a diamond wheel on an element uh, on a grinder? No, I haven't because I get me grinded this for me cutting this for free from work. I don't, I don't, I don't see the point of buying something. And doesn't clog up. Oh, really? Yeah, because Watchcall was saying, Ian was saying that when he was cutting, um, was it copper there on one of your videos? You have to keep touching it off the steel to stop it because the copper is soft and it sticks on the... Oh, that's why the brass yeah. is up. Yes, NATO and the US are scrambling to replenish their ammunition stockpile. Up, Jimmy? The, the brass is needed okay. for the shells. So like trying scrapper, that's his way of saying send him a diamond blade. So <laughs> ho hold, hold on to your brass. It's going to go up. 
If I told you what brass was here, you'd die. Really? It's a dollar forty-two. Oh, wow. that's terrible. So I've got to double that. So that's two dollars. Two eighty. Two eighty-four. And and then, three, that's, not, that's not all that. Three, three, three dollars, yeah. and then that's like, oh, that's cheap. That's low. Oh, yeah, that's very low. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they pay me in squids. I'd, I'd be a little better. I don't know. Yeah, you see, I pay in squids. Squids, squids are <laughs> damn squids. That's what Hotchko said as well, didn't she, um, Ellie? Uh, you said how, how many squids? <laughs> how many squids? She's lovely, Ellie. <laughs> yeah, she's a very happy person all the time. Seems to be. Oh, look yes. at the money she's making. Look at the money she's making. She's co-owner, you know. Oh, really? she, well, it's a family business, isn't it? Yeah, where, where the, the, Ellie got married about a month ago. Oh, weeks. damn it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I want to know more of his scrapyard videos. See, that's, you, ruined, you ruined Rad's life again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the dad kind of like <laughs> retired and gave it to the, the son and the daughter. So Robert... Who I talked to, he's now the boss and Ellie's co boss, joint owner. Uh -huh. So, how disappointed were you having to throw all that aluminium sheeting into the um, shred? No, oh, a kilogram. I weren't really that bothered. To be quite honest, he would give me any alley for it. Right. But, it, but at the same time, and shh, he said, I don't want your prints on YouTube that I'm, uh, I'm giving you any alley for this. So I thought it was fair enough. I said, look, don't put yourself out. Just I'm just throwing it in with the iron. Yeah, yeah. You know, he said, oh, what? everybody, man and his dog coming with this stuff because it's been all over YouTube. So the question Mac is, to did Ellie marry someone at the yard? I don't, I don't know who she married. Were you not invited to the wedding? Like, you being... The number like one the, band. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't invited. And then the day, the day after, I said, "Well, the couple, the week after, I talked to Robert. He said, oh, you could have come down. There was plenty of space.' But hey, Liz, you know, I, I'm a nothing. The you know, tiny, tiny customer. I'm the the guy last week when I weighed in. The big guy who was driving the fork truck. See, just before that. I'd shouted, come on, you're slower, oh, yeah. than, I said, you're slower than a Mexican village. And then I thought, I better cut that out. I can't have that on going live on YouTube. It, it's like, not racist, but descriptive. And uh, what, what was he talking about? You were saying that he, that big what guy the on the park cliff, he was very upset with you for shouting at him. Holy crap, he is. You have to be questioned. I was telling you about the big guy. Yeah. He's gone. Like me, uh, it happens at that age, <laughs> and, and with the amount of alcohol, maybe. Come on, you asked me a question, and I was answering it, and then I digress by saying, about Are you still guy. alive? Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> Did Ali marry a guy at the shed? Were you invited? Um, wedding, you are the number one man at the scrapyard. Um, right, okay, go. No, so now I'm not. I can't, I can't to this guy, he says, You know what we call you guys? He says, Mess about. You know, do mess about in these sheds. That's what we call you, messes. <laughs> so, like, I'm not a hobbyist scrapper. I'm a messer. We mess yeah, about. Well, well, you're messing about. Made you two hundred quid, didn't it? Two hundred and forty something. It certainly did. Uh, I, 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 they're a nice, friendly herd, but sometimes I think when they're busy, they just want people in, out, gone. You know. Yeah, because they're a small yard. They don't yeah, have to like for look, pissing about looking at go, it. Tend to go <laughs> later. Tend to go later on in the afternoon. And it's like, oh, God, look at he, he's here. He's going to talk for England. You know, just wait in and go. We can go home. Apparently, I said, Ian's a Fred in the shed. <laughs> Fred in the shed. Yeah, electronic scrappers because it gets nothing for coax cable. I think in America though, that the sheathing in America is is steel, isn't it? Well, over here it's it's copper. Yeah, uh, coax cable. I just uh, it's it's great. My my yard doesn't differentiate in in uh, in wire unless it's really thick solid core uh, copper wire that that has uh, insulation around no. it. 
I'm just showing that to Cruz Mac. It's a very pale rum, this almost like oh. a whiskey. I you thought know. you were showing well, the floaty, the floaty yeah. Bit. But other than that, if it's <laughs> if it's crappy little little cable like this USB cable I just took, or if it's uh, if it's ribbon cable or a coaxial cable or speaker cable, whatever internet cable doesn't matter, it it's all it's all the same. I get uh, what was it? I uh, get two euro forty two euro thirty a kilogram. It's a bit yeah. down. It used to be two two sixty. It has been at four euros at some point. Yeah. See, like like my yard, like any wire I cut off, I can throw. Is it's just mixed wire. It's like forty forty five percent. And yeah. then the ribbon wire out of the computers, I only get twenty five cents a pound from the scrapyard. So now I just mix it all together and I sell it down to a board sort because they pay sixty cents a pound for all of it. You just throw okay. it all in. even those little paper. Uh, like in the CD-ROMs, you know, that real thin ribbon wire that's in there. Yeah. It has little gold tips on the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you throw all that all together. So I, I make more taking that to Ohio than I would selling it to my scrapyard. So every, now every, it's Ohio every, gets my shit. And coax wire is, is like shred here. It's worthless. Hey, what's scrap the transformers? Um, what's the price on transformers at the moment over there? Uh, ele- that's part of electro motors. That's 70 cents a kilogram over here. Oh, we already got 70. Oh, we already got 50 cents here. Yeah, well, it was 90 cents uh, at another time hey, when I turned in, so that was pretty good. Right. Well, I guess they now know that there's a lot of aluminium motors in between. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably why they've dropped the price back. Yeah, because allow for the the aluminium ones. I, I raised that with the yard, you know, about that big transformer I stripped, and he would have bought it off me and give me transformer price, and I got forty-five quid for it instead of the fourteen or fifteen pound I got stripping it. But he said he sells them on as transformers, not necessarily going to be stripped for the copper. So oh, they okay. they will get go to some third world country where they will be. Reused. reused, yeah, reused, you know, safety and stuff. <laughs> but it was such a joy to watch Ian take that transformer apart. Hey, oh. hey. hey Parky. Okay. Oh, Mike. Mike. Ralph, Mike. Ralph, Mike. Ralph, Ralph. It hurt. It hurt. When, I, when I went through it, it was like, no, this is not aluminium all the way through, surely. No. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough. <laughs> it was. Alas. Uh, the, the, <laughs> we, could see, we could see your face. There's just a the crushing effect it had on your Ian. It just, like, broke you. <laughs> I think, really, it, it's knowing that I had to... To get any value out of it, I still had to strip all the aluminium. Yeah. Even though I was getting nank for it. Yeah, I had, in, Cruiser Mac, I had a thought the inner wind into the big copper as well, but alas, it wasn't. And identical nuts. sets too, so it's uh, it's well surprising. Mm-hmm. Yep, I was laying in bed watching your video, laughing my ass off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Just ain't worth it. No. Tragedy, tragedy. It's a bit like, <laughs> bit like buying Ram off eBay, isn't it, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start them. Yeah. Then, then I'm sitting there watching them do the copper one, and I'm still cracking up, you know, the copper one. <laughs> oh, scrappy diary. Secret location. I've started it. The third bag. The third bag now on top. You're going to have to cash them in. This is like, this could be part of your getting yourself right. It's start there as well. Get rid of all your e waste now as well. You know, well, sooner or later, there'll be a company open up in Manchester that'll take it in. I'm, I'm sure there was a company there in Manchester already that done that. You know, I'm sure there's some company there in Manchester. Yeah. What, 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 here's, a, here's another here's another thing. These are those thermostats. These are this comes from a fridge where you basically use this to set it higher and lower. This cable that's on there or the, the, the temperature that's sensor that's thing. That's copper. They they used to be copper. This is now aluminium. Oh, oh. I, I have a I have a good view of them thermostats, but they're from boilers, so they're all copper and there's like maybe six or seven meters of copper cable on them. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Rafael says, how am I going to get those bags out? They're heavy. Well, I'll just drag them. <laughs> what a drag. Oh, wow. I just felt the, <laughs> the... I think there's some type of gas in there. I don't know. Just blue. Ugh. Hey, bro. As long as it's not a... Uh, Ralph. <laughs> As long as what? Not, uh, or something let the like smoke that. out. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I'm. I let the smoke out. The smoke is supposed to stay in there. No, it just just goes in with my malolilium scrap. Tie these together. I didn't do very well with me. Uh, crucible in the wood fire. Ralph. Oh, really? What have you been melting? Aluminium? Yeah, aluminium. I, I'd have thought it would have got higher off. I think... The, well, it, a, a wood steel. fire, if you get it hot enough, can melt glass, which melts usually at about 1,000 or 1,100 Celsius. I, so have mel should... I have melted aluminium in there. I, 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 yeah. I know. But I think... I, I'm using one of the CO2 fire extinguishers. Which is oh, yeah, the thick, the thick walled ones. Yeah, yeah that, that, that works best. I think it's too hot. I think it's too much. It's not burning the heat inside. Oh well, well th those usually uh, hold the heat way better than the thin ones. Yeah. The thin George, ones cool off as soon as you take them out of the fire. Uh, and uh, what's your plan for melting the aluminium? Why are you melting it anyhow? Right. I make most of my money from making wood burners. Out of gas bottles. Okay. Okay. People give me gas bottles. Invariably, they're half full of gas. I'm not really interested in the gas. I want the bottle. So I made a, a, an aluminium smelter so I could waste the gas by turning aluminium cans into ingots, tripling the money, giving me an empty bottle, which I could turn into a wood burner and make more money. Okay. That explains it. So it's just yeah. wasting the gas, really. Yeah, yeah, it's not the gas. Rather yeah. than yeah. Ian creates here. his own gas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, it's not uh, cost effective at all, whatsoever, you know. Uh, I don't know. Sooner or later, when I've <laughs> finished work and I can play about, I might get into a bit of casting and stuff like that. She can hear muffled. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro says he's need of a flange. Well, come on down. I'll not that far away. Not your flange up. The Samo flange. I've had the fire going here all day. It, it, it's lovely and toasty in here. It's not that cold over there at the moment, is it? Uh, well, Those old, old guys, you know, thin the blood and all that lot. Maybe it's the alcohol that's tinged your blood. Possibly. <laughs> it's not, not the thing. Uh, anyway, uh, I put the new battery on tonight and fired up like a dream. So you've solved your problem. Oh, that. Yes, as a, a forthcoming video will explain. But yeah, it and, was. And was that, is, that, is that battery one of them start stop batteries? Is it? The one I. The one that's in, uh, so the one or two coffees is a stop start battery, yes. Okay. Uh, They're not cheap. Uh, depends where you go. It cost me 20 quid. <laughs> that's cheap. <laughs> cheap. Where's the one I've just bought cost me 10 pounds. There's a car somewhere, they're going, why is it not starting? <laughs> No battery. <laughs> no battery. So, what are you going to bring to the scrapyard this week, uh, Ian? What are you, what's your plan and what are you getting rid of? I don't know. Um, like nothing. I'm, I'm getting into the frame of mind of winters here now. Just just strips wire and get rid of that little elephant in the corner and 
you know, there's not so much out there anymore. Hey, hello, Lee. How do you, Lee? Hello. Uh, it, it, it's no, like, it's, it's tattle, that lot. It's, <laughs> why, why do I need seven LED lights? Right. You know, gradually work me through Work my way through this lot. I can't wait till I see the day that we can actually see behind there again that there's nothing there. Just turn off the green screen. Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, watch this space. So we might actually see space. It'll happen. Uh, special then, do you, bud? No, you don't have to pay me at all, bro. You know, I'll make something for now. Nank. Speckle then. Oh, I didn't film it. Reduced. So I'm in the. Uh, I mean, how much are they reduced to? Two pounds thirty-eight. Yeah. They were for four cans. I couldn't turn it down for that. And then there were three. This is in this. This is how daft I am. There's four cans. <laughs> Two pounds thirty-eight. Right. Sorry. Three cans. Three cans, two pound thirty-eight, and at the side of that were four cans at two pound forty-five. So seven p difference for the an extra can. So I'm like, um and ahhing, which one should I have? Well, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Yeah, so I took <laughs> the four cans. You get the four for an extra seven p. And then, I don't drink the stuff, but. Yeah, and then and then I'm walking around the shop and thinking, why didn't you take the three cans as well? So I went back and got the three cans as well. <laughs> so you're seven cans. So I got seven cans. So that works out at like eighty p a can. Normally like one pound forty nine a can now. You so, could have also gotten two packs of four. So well, the no, were, price, Ralph. There were there were more. I, I, I bought them all. Put them away for Christmas. Not that far off Christmas. If this, the man Cruiser Mac, not Cruiser Mac, who was it? Shirk with his Christmas tree. There's somebody in our street got Christmas lights up. Well, Shark put his Christmas lights up outside today. They threw a brick through the window. But it's still November. Yeah. Next Thursday, the 1st of December, after that, it's okay to put up your lights. Apparently in the States, you know, you're supposed to put your lights up day after Thanksgiving, which is two days ago. Hmm. Um, 50 said, if you just hang a green blanket over the all that scrap behind you, you can make it look like it, it's empty. I do what I do. <laughs> Good old leg split. Um, it, it, it's not eating anything. It, it's it's the it's it eating it's space. It's eating away at your soul. It's eating space. <laughs> All that space you could have, it's at it. So what would I do with it? What were you going to do with space? Well, you put, wanted put to, more scrap in it. You wanted to set up your wood turning machine and your uh, metal machines and stuff like that. So you got space for it. Yeah, yeah. More yeah, room to work. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Imagine true. the wood burners you can then make. You can turn it into like an assembly line and make four yeah. or five at the same time. <sighs> Imagine that's the money you'd make. Always getting tired just by thinking about it. You could, you could have a little uh, showroom and you could bring people in. And here's the wood burner, and here's another type of wood burner. Here's the big. Here's the here's, here's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I prefer to fill it with shit. <laughs> Leave it there. <laughs> In your shed, in your shed. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, shit, he asked to bring them from. And he still has to even open them. <coughs> yeah, bring them over. I need a cow kit. <laughs> in my shed, Ian, <laughs> I need a cow kit. Yeah. welcome well, in my shed. Well, it's and wood lice and... Yeah. Now and take everything and throw it in the shred, in the shred. Because, Mac, what are you working on any wood burners at the moment? Uh, not at the moment, but all, all over December tends to be the time where I build up a stock of them. Hey, scrap, scrap's going to die down, isn't it? Thank God we're not like we're 
them people who are in this cupboard with all that white stuff. You know? But scrap and pick up in January's in because you have all the Christmas lights <laughs> thrown out and all that other rubbish that people throw out after Christmas. So you get a lot of that coming around. All the presents they don't want. <laughs> The, the cheap presents that were bought. That they have already broke broken. <laughs> broken after a day. <laughs> oh, you mean like this type of stuff? Like this type of stuff. This this is going to be. Yeah. Welcome to the shed. When it, oh, yeah, yeah. Why not? When I, it's never. It's still, still in its cellophane. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I'm going to open that and it'll be behind. It'll go. Welcome to my shed. Cool. And if you pick up that as yeah, and if you clean the up then you have a place to hang it. Yeah, if you get rid of all that um stuff. Okay. You, you can you can make like okay. a sticker board and put all the stickers up that you get. Oh no, for yeah, getting yeah, stickers yeah. you need to send out stickers as well. Oh, yeah. uh, like Superman is gonna sell his um uh, rocket stove that he don't Ian put his in for scrap. I threw a man who has to get to the scrapyard, isn't he? Um, oh, what a waste. Why take why take away stuff that you made? Because you can make it again. Because I can make well, it another true. and again. And that's better. It. Yeah, I weren't happy with that design, to be quite honest. I copied one off, off, off the <laughs> internet. and So many people commented and said, you built that wrong. I thought, yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> yeah. What so called experts that haven't built one themselves tell you how to oh, yeah, you experts. Get, that's it, that's it, exactly, Ralph. You get all but I get all but the armchair mechanics, yeah. They, they have done it, but they know how to do it, yeah. Well, they think they know how to do it, don't they? Oh, they've seen it, so, seen someone doing it in another video, and they <laughs> yeah. now know how it works. And then they, yeah. well, yeah, but when people actually go out there and do it. Yeah, but them rock, rocket stoves, they, they tend to have, yeah, they're, they're either a J shape or an L shape, but the earth comes in that way and goes up. And the one I saw was the earth came straight underneath. There were no, I cut the bottom, there were no bottom on it. The earth came underneath. No, I have someone well, in the basement. It's when you, Father Christmas yeah. himself. When he was oh, burning oh. stuff. Hey, <laughs> Shanky. Ah! Hey, Dan. Ah, turn those lights off. <laughs> I'm blind. Hey, KMD scrapping is in. Hello, it's all right. We, it was three days after Thanksgiving, so we're all right. Hey, hello, so, Dan. So, I Ian, know. Ian, I understand the problem you were having with your with your rocket stove. You were trying to push her up from the bottom instead of air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, that's just his accent. <laughs> I like that Mother one, Nature man. didn't understand. Uh, we, we've someone, we've someone over on the Facebook side, um, wanted to know: Is this a micro scrapping channel? <laughs> yes, and uh, Mike is the. the oh, I, wonder, I wonder who that is. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Um, the expert there. <laughs> <sighs> How is everybody? I believe that's his real name. I'm fine. No, my real name is Parkness. <laughs> you wish. I tell you what, about this. how long did it? How long did it take you to get that compilation of idiot drivers? Oh, I don't know. Depends how much driving I do and how many numpties I well come across numpties all the time, really. But hey, Pack, don't nope. you do? Did you not do a numpty thing yourself? At some stage? Yes, I have. I have. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. No, he classed his as operator error. All right, like, operator he, error. He said that <laughs> numptiness. He was just oh, may, maybe operator error here. Senior moment. Senior. No, I'm not quite as old as you, but I'm not getting any younger. Temporary brain fart. <laughs> so, um, Shark, how many lights did you put up outside? Is it like NASA will be able to bring down a space shuttle to find on top of you, or you, will, will airplanes start to land your own? No, it's a. Uh... I, hey Jackie, I, I, don't, I don't believe it's. I don't believe that it's massive. No. Hmm. I I don't believe you. I have a funny feeling the house is like lit up outside. No. No. It's not. It's not. 
it's not nearly as bad as as some of the houses will be around here. So, but I'll I'll get a picture of it and send you a picture so you. Can uh, Rafael reckons he can see it from where he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he is at the space station. He took lessons from Clark Griswold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. What's, do you ever see them videos of the houses with the music and the lights doing all? Oh, they're they're really that takes some effort to. <coughs> we have one. a we have a neighborhood up here in northeast Florida that um, they go all out the whole neighborhood. So you you come in and it's it's you know this uh, you, you drive down the block and all the houses are just all decked out and they got lights going over the street and. And you know they're spinning around, kind of going up and down. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know the entire neighborhood. And then what happens is, so about for the two or three weeks that they're all lit up and everything, they they have to get police out there to direct traffic because there's so many people coming. That we got people coming down from Georgia to 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 see this light show. Uh, so yeah, there's some people that just you see it from really space, probably. <clears throat> Um, yeah, no, but it might be a bit less now that the uh, energy costs have gone up, so they mightn't put as much lights up anymore. Some of these people, no, they'll just be using a lot more LEDs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, did you find any Christmas lights yet on your um street scrapping? Because people will be putting up the Christmas lights and discovering they're not working and just throwing them out and getting new ones. Not yet. Um, although I did find a string of my own that I'm that I'm getting rid of. Um, oh yeah, but then again, everyone isn't like you. Everyone does realize you put Christmas lights up in December, not November. <clears throat> I wasn't first <clears throat> in this neighborhood, okay? <laughs> I just want you to know, I wasn't first. Damn. Um, Damn, you'll have to put it up in July or something. <laughs> no, in, uh, in January. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Take go, let's go up about the 20th and come down on Boxing Day. Almost one million lights every year. Holy cow! A million, million. lights. Oh my god! One million. <laughs> a million. Imagine if there were the old type bulbs where you'd have to go through every one to find the one that was causing the trouble. <laughs> oh my god! I can remember my dad spending hours doing that every year. Yeah. Bring Twist down and Christmas Take them out, and another one in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and our our Christmas tree had the big bulbs on it. Um, you know, and so we get the tree decorated, and then, you know, then, and, and and even when he would plug it in ahead of time and test them, by the time we got the lights up on the tree, plug it in, there'd always be at least one string that wasn't working, and we're sitting there. You know, I'm holding a handful of bulbs for my dad as he's switching out bulbs, trying to find the one that's. Oh my God. But, um, <coughs> uh, when, when will you put your Christmas tree up, Mr. Matthews? It's always about the 20th of December. Ah, shut up. Mrs. Matthews will have it up before then. No, no, it, it, it's great. <laughs> it, it's in a box. It's actually half a tree. Right, and it's already pre pre lit and pre decorated. So it's like uh, you, you open the box, you take it out, you hang it on the wall, plug it in, and it's there. It's done. I've got my tree right here. Boxing day, yeah, lift it off, put it back in the box, close the lid, and gone. There you go. See, Ralph is in the spirit. Yeah, I've got Ralph my tree right here. Yep. And he took it down last week and put it back up again. Yeah. <laughs> He loves decorating so much he does it every week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, lots of Christmas lights out street scrapping this time of year. So okay, they're trying to find some Christmas lights already. Anyway, it's half past, so I'm going to have to call it a night. So, gents, thank you very much for having me up. And before, you go, before, you, before, you, before you go, I'm expecting to see a video every week of you bringing stuff to the scrapyard now that you've started. <laughs> We don't want you to relapse. We're here to help you and to encourage you to continue the great program you are on of becoming a regular scrapper. So let's no. keep it going. Ian, no, Ian you, know how, 
you know how the saying goes, day by day, my scrap is getting lighter every day. Yeah, it's a <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Beans, we don't want to disappoint us. You want to keep it going now. You're on the right tracks and don't 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 relapse. Don't relapse, whatever you do. You got this, you can do it. Go. We're Ian, here to go. support you. Go, Ian, go. Go, Good. Ian, go. You can do it, you know you want to. Yeah. Anytime now you're feeling like a relapse is coming, just pick up the phone and we'll give you the words of encouragement. The Good next idea. challenge after after the uh, after the robot challenge is going to be clean up your shed challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, mm, yeah right. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to bed and think about that. Right. Good night, gents, ladies. <laughs> as well. Take it right. easy. Thank good you. Night, sir. Have good a good one. Go on. You can do it. There he goes. <laughs> We all know that there's going to be a video pretty soon of him with a full carload of "Look what I found." Uh -huh. yeah. There'll be a video of him taking everything out of the shed to find something behind something to, put it, to take it outside to put it all back in, just because he wanted one little item. <laughs> That'll be the video. That too, probably. And when he yeah. does that video, I know he has relapsed. <laughs> so, Sharky, what have you been up to? Anything strange? Anything weird? Anything wonderful? Um, no, no, it's been a little bit quiet because um, we went to see wife's family for Thanksgiving and then got back from that. Um, although I did have a really good day in the shark cage Saturday. I knocked out a lot of computers Saturday. Uh, so, um, so that was good. Um, but yeah, I can't say anything weird or unusual going on. Any new contacts or any new pickups? This week, no, no, no. I, uh, I, I, I did another pickup at the hoarder's house. Uh, in fact, that'll be Monday's video. Um, and so there was, you know, there was some kind of interesting stuff that came with that. Um, but uh, nothing, don't have anybody new on the list. Um, I've got a guy that is uh, working on the pile of steel conduit forming, so I get a weekly update from him. On how much stuff he's hauled away um and uh i think he's beginning to regret that he agreed to do this <laughs> <laughs> a bit like you when you seen it first <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah looking down and wants me to get rid of all the old crap well that's a nice pickup uh scrapman 50. there should be some nice stuff in there uh he's got a pickup of a computer shop that is shutting down yeah, that, those are always good. I've done two of those, and both of them have been fantastic pickups uh, with with stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff there, or the potential for a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, potential for, for some cool stuff. I have to go tomorrow and pick up a big, massive printer of a uh, book. I said... I take it off his hands because again there might be better stuff coming. So, but the printer was brand new when he bought it new uh, ten years ago or fifteen years ago. It was seventeen thousand they paid for it. Wow, oh. that's a huge printer then. Yeah, it's huge, big printer, and it it was they used it for making brochures and stuff like that for their company. Oh. So, um, hey, if that thing still works, you can use it to to print your own stickers and stuff. No, it doesn't work anymore. That's why they're getting oh. rid of it. They bought it. They bought a new one. So I think the new one was about twelve or thirteen thousand. So I have I have a hello there, uh, Brissy boy. I have a client that has two printers that he wants me to, uh, and I went and um, and he's in the printing and embroidery business, you know, for oh, wow. you know making shark uh, shirts for teams and and uh, groups and those kind of things, um, and so he's got these these printers. I mean, they're freaking. They're heavy as all get out, and they're not—they're not big. They're maybe half a meter by half a meter, um, and um, you know maybe that that deep. But um, they're just ungodly heavy. It's going to take easily take two of us to get them lifted onto some sort of cart or dolly or something to get them out of the house. So. I, I, it should be interesting to dig into those things and find out why they're so heavy. 
Yeah, it'd be um, it'd be might be something uh, interested in there, but then again, there might be a lot of rubbish, <laughs> like a lot of times. <laughs> Big yeah. block of steel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, so the, the the print arm was so heavy that they had to put a great big heavy counterweight in the thing. That... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to stop it tipping kind, over. Kind of like why washing machines are so heavy with big yeah. concrete blocks. Yeah. I'm just having a look online to see what price that printer was. Because, you know, when people tell you, oh, I paid 17000 for them, uh, you, you don't know that. You know, I'm just going to see what price did he pay. What price... Uh, uh looking on here it's a canon printer and looking on here on a website here the price we knew was forty four thousand dollars wow yeah oh, i don't crap. know that. a car for that much money i don't know is that a watch call is that a um uh watch call price is that uh, australian dollars or american dollars or canadian dollars but um I'm looking here on this website. Uh, price forty four thousand six hundred and forty four thirteen. Uh, squids price. Uh, forty four thousand squids. Yeah, squids. It wasn't a great. It only done forty five pages nice per print. minute. Uh, laser printer. Uh, the cartridges for them were seventy quid each. Oh, well, that's but, not that um, bad for a printer that expensive. No, yeah, but. Uh, couldn't be that price, could it? 44. Who did? But it runs out after 10 prints. I'll just have a look on another website to see if there's any, any different price. That could be just a crazy price on some price. Thing. Let me go into shopping on Google to see if that can bring up any prices Google. for me. No, because it's such an old printer now, it's no longer available. So I just had something interesting happening with my printer. Um, I bought it, uh, you know, it, during the pandemic. And so it was hard to find a, a, a printer. So I kind of didn't have much choice but to buy the one that I bought. Um, it's an HP and it comes with this, they call it HP Insta Ink. Uh, so, oh, yeah. uh, you know, they, uh, they monitor the ink level and I pay... I don't know, three dollars a month or something like that to this HP Insta Ink, and um, I just had ink sent to me. I was like, I got this box from HP. I'm like, I didn't order anything. What the hell is this? Because I'd completely forgotten about it, and um, it was ink. So yes. uh, sure enough, when I, <laughs> yeah. When I went to check the ink levels, uh, there were uh, it was you know there were there were a couple that were low, and so it's yeah, it's just ordering its own ink. <laughs> See, oh, yeah, you yeah. Know. yeah. You have fridges ordering their own food for you and stuff like that, you know. I'm trying to see if there are any other websites that <clears throat> still have prices on when that was new, but there isn't. Or so, I don't know. I see a refurbished one here for uh, twelve thousand. So if I knew anything about how to fix them, I might make twelve thousand. <laughs> That must have been what Mike was working on, refurbishing a printer. But it looks the exact same as any normal printer. Big, you know, you remember that big printer you took apart um, a while back, Shark? You remember that big, tall printer? You yeah, the one apart? you had in the back of the truck. Yeah, it looks it looks the exact same as that, but the oh, price on it is okay. just crazy. Did you say something? Sure. No, don't worry about it. Thank you. I'm going to put a link Forget in the about it. actual website so people can see it. And uh, where is the one there for 40? Let me go and find it again. Let's hear that sound again. That's um, Sharky's uh, fan. <coughs> yeah. That sound. That is really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. This is the new computer. It's a piece of shit. That's the so link to the what question is then what and did you like, connect to the computer that you had connected to your old computer? Uh, the camera. The camera, I tell you. Would the camera be making that sound though? I don't know. 
Move to the left. Yeah, yeah. The, the camera probably has a mic in it, and it's picking up something. Well, yeah, it's got a mic in it. That's what I'm talking to you with. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. So, yeah. No, I can still hear it. Move to the right. I wish you can no. get you can get a black toner for it. There's one on eBay for sixteen pounds sixty six. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try one of these. That's days. UK. That's UK. Oh, it, stopped. it stopped. It stops, Shark. I just grabbed hold of the cable. Now it's back. Now it's back. Stopped. Back. Still there. You need to spend a few squid and get a new cable. Move forward again and to, to where you were holding the is, cable. Is the cable hanging forward? next to the PC case? Well, it's plugged into the front of the PC, so yeah. Just move it's forward. That, it's that titanium that's in your head, that freaking plate. Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. now. Maybe I'll put another ferrite core on it and see if that'll help. Oh, that might help, yeah. But when you're leaning forward, it stops. So. <sighs> Yeah, because all the metal in my head acts as a good block. It's a Faraday cage. That stopped on you. It's gone now. Yep. So don't move. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee, but I don't want to go make it. Des describing my, like my head too, as a ferrite I... block is extremely appropriate. I shouldn't. <sighs> Yeah, so that that's the link I put into where that um, that printer is forty four thousand. So I don't know why it's worth that sort of money because it looks just like a regular printer to me. That yeah, like wow. normal normal yeah. copier. Yeah. That's a huge. <coughs> that... so I have to, I have to collect that hopefully tomorrow, and just smash it up and see what's inside it. Um, so I. It might be expensive because it looks like it's a network printer. Yeah, it'd be a copier. So something you have in office. office no, they, used to, they used to use it for making brochures for their company. So company brochures used to print their own brochures and stuff like that. So I don't know. Maybe there's some way of binding them, and I don't know what it does. You should find some decent cards on the back of it. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. So and a I've lot of little tiny motors and a whole bunch of wire. Yeah, and a whole lot of plastic. <laughs> oh, yeah, a whole lot of plastic. And it's going to be a heavy son of a gun. A whole yeah. lot of plastic. Um, yeah, so I ju I'm just taking it off them because there may be other stuff coming down the road. So, it's, you know, sometimes you have to, if, if it was only that and I knew there was no chance of getting anything else, I probably wouldn't have bothered. But. They may be changing out rake of computers and other sort of stuff, so that way then I can get get that down the off them down the down the line, hopefully. Right. Sometimes you have to take stuff you don't want to take, but yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's all part of the part of the game. This is true. All or nothing. All or nothing. Yeah. <coughs> So that notes, Parky, what have you been up to? Uh, not a right lot. Haven't seen you in a while up here. You were taking a sabbatical from us. Yeah, yeah, we're just just doing less of it. Oh, less of YouTube. No, no, less less of coming upon panels. Oh, okay. Oh, you were trying not to be a panel. Cut, just cutting back. Just cutting back. Yeah, yeah, just cutting back. <laughs> 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 I had a period where 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 I was on every panel that I could get on. Yeah, I remember seeing that. You try no matter what live you're looking at, Ralph was there. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was uh, jobless, <laughs> you'd be on it the was, morning. It was a lot of fun. Him, you'd see him on a, on a morning panel. You'd see him on an afternoon panel. Next thing he was on a late night panel. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. The panel king. Wasn't that, wasn't that a song, Scrapping It? I mean, panel in the morning, panel <laughs> in the afternoon. <laughs> 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 
I'm in the morning. What is this? Yeah. What did the missus say to you? <laughs> She's making buttermilk biscuits tonight for dinner. Oh, nom, 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 nom. you're lucky to have a wife who is a chef. <laughs> yes, what, I am. What is Mike eating? Cabbage soup. Oh, yeah, I mean, I look good. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be farting up a storm, boy. <laughs> That's a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to turn heater on tonight. <laughs> normal day. Everything is just normal. Yeah. I don't fart till at night when I'm in bed. I like to hold it in. That's the, that's the moment you relax. <laughs> well, it keeps me warm. That is true. Immediately. Yeah, that's a good plan. Pull out all the um, bases first out of the trays and stuff. Out yeah, there. Usually, usually like paper trays. Yeah, then paper trays that'll lighten it a bit. <coughs> it's, amazing. it's amazing how many spools of this wire I see for sale. It's amazing. And and is it worth uh, buying and stripping? No. No. I had a guy had five hundred foot of a THNN ten gauge. He wanted a uh, hundred twenty five bucks a spool. I don't know how many squid that is, but lot. Well, it's a lot of squid. Yeah. It's about, this it's guy about, wants, uh, he wants 50 bucks a spool, uh, spool for these, and these are a 14 single yeah, copper okay. wire. 500 feet. You know, when you don't have any electronics to do, you got to figure out, do something with your time. Except sit in the house all day like I did today. How would you have to have them lazy days as well? Sometimes you just need a lazy day to recharge your batteries. No. I've had too many well, of those. That's, that's what squid is. That's, that's looks a, like a euro coin from here. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm just focus. There we go. Oh, there you go. There go. That's a pound. That's not a squid. I'm still got Lizzie on the back. Lizzie's head. When is the when yep. is the new coins going to be out? Which your king's um, head? On? Oh, it depends when the uh, Royal Mail, uh, not Royal Mail, Royal Mint gets its finger out. Sort of been geared up for it. Just waiting for, for lizard popper clogs. They, 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 they always have a plan. It's, it's going to happen at some stage. So I'm sure they they had the um, the coin already done up. Well, I'm not seeing anyway. Charlie's head on it. Well, if David Young's still here. Sorry, I took your man. He said he had to go. <laughs> but did David go? Did he? Oh, he did. David. Sorry, David. I didn't see him saying goodbye. So, David, goodbye if you're still in the background. I'm not sure. Me and David are having a bitch fight over Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just my luck. Two guys instead of two women. I'll tell, yeah, you, yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do, David. First, when I get to the Netherlands, wins. <laughs> Hey, hey, Ralph, you ever have two guys fighting over you before? No, I feel honored. <laughs> and a bit creeped out. Honored, yeah, and freaked out at the same time. Come on, Ralph. Uh, oh, I need to check something here. Yeah, so Sharky, those uh, all ones ain't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Yeah, that was good to see. I'm glad. It gives me hope. I ended up doing uh, 10 of them. But what I'm trying to do, because I have so many different ones, I'm trying to do all the ones that are the same and get all them done, because once you do one or two, then it's, you know, only takes a couple minutes to do them. It's just getting the damn, you know, getting them open. Once yeah. You up, you're good to go. Some of them you just cut along the screen and pop the screen out and everything's right there. Other ones you got to screw around with them. But they're all, almost all aluminum. You know, the bases and stuff. The housings. Yeah. So, Mike, I, I had a, uh, I had an electrician who shut down his shop and he wanted, he was offering to, for me to buy his spools of wire and cable. He sent me a spreadsheet 
with all of the different types of wire and the length of that was on each spool and such. Uh, and I went and uh, used the, you know, there's a there's some standards that you can look at the type of wire and it'll tell you how much it weighs per foot and that kind of stuff. Um, so I came up with this guy had eight thousand two hundred and twenty two pounds of wire. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, I made him a price, uh, you know, after I looked at the wire and got figured out what was number one insulated, what was number two insulated. And, and I gave him what I thought was a reasonable price. And and he comes back and he, he's like, yeah, but you're going to strip all this number one to get the copper. And I said, yeah. And if you want to get that value, then you go ahead and strip it yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some people expect like you to get the high price and you do the work for it then as well. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people are like that. Like I have a my, my one computer store. He wants like eight dollars for towers and you know, he, he just offers off the rock. And I and I showed him. I literally went behind his counter, went on his computer and pulled up board sort. And I showed him, I said, Look, this is what I sell it for. I said, so if I buy it from you, I have to make something because I still have to tear it down, separate it, and take it to Ohio. I said, it cost me 400 bucks just to go to Ohio, you know, off the top. And then yeah. if I pay my helper, and you know, I said, I said, I'm not making shit on it. Now he's finally down to where, you know, I can deal with him a little bit. But yeah, they all think, you know, well, you know, you're going to make this. No, they don't, they're not factoring in everything that goes, you know, into, you know, getting rid of it. Yeah. You know, the time and the, the effort. Sucks. You know, you can only strip wire for so long before you lose your mind. Yeah, so he, uh, he he and I were going back and forth for a while, and then he finally he finally said, okay, well, I'll if I'm going to do that, I'm going to take it to the scrapyard myself. And I said, okay, fine, here's the address. Yeah. Uh -huh. Off you go. Yeah, you know, it's like. Yeah. yeah, like my computer guy told him, I said, if they're complete, and all he does is I-series stuff. I said, if there's a CPU and at least one RAM stick in there, I said, I will give you five bucks a piece because the CPU pays for the computer. So he's like, well, I got a guy that will give me eight dollars a piece. I said, why are you bothering me? So now <laughs> I'm, getting him off of, I'm getting them off of now for four bucks a piece. The CPU is, you know, paying for the, the, the tower and I still have the motherboard to put, you know, all the crap in them. So, you know. It's not bad now, except for the fact that prices suck. Yeah. But yeah, people just, they don't understand, you know, the process. Now, I have one computer store. He gives me everything for free, and I throw him a few bucks. You know, I give him a little tip. You know, I give him 30, 40 bucks because, you know, I mean, when, when I go there, it's a van load. I mean, it's, you know, I had to go back twice. I had a van and a half load last time. Yeah. You know, and, you know, and it just keeps, you know, it just keeps a good relation with the people. But some of them, you have to drill it into their head. And then they still can't figure it out. Yeah, so well, they're, they're sitting on gold. And, yeah. And then I've got another electrician who he used to do that. He used to strip the wire himself. Well, his his company has gotten so busy now. I mean, and he owns the company, and he's just gotten so much so busy with work that he said, "I don't have the time to do it." He said, "And it's it's getting in the way. It just piles up." So, you know, he's just like, you know, <clears throat> pay me a reasonable price and get it out of my way, and that's all he's worried about. Yeah. So yeah. I just I go out to a shop once a month. I pick up a couple of trash cans full of wire. I bring it back. I separate it. I weigh it. I pay him, and he's he's happy that you know it's out of the way and he's making some money on the trash. And do, and do you strip that wire, Shark, or do you just um, sell it as is back to the scrapyards? Uh, some of it I will strip because he's got some really good. He's got some some awesome cable in there. Um, you know, where it's nice, big, thick cable and each, each strand is bare bright in itself. Um, you know, just some really nice cable in there. Um, and, um, I give them a little bit extra for that too. Um, because I know I'm going to strip it, uh, and I know it's going to be worth, worth some good money when copper comes back. Um, mm -hmm. but a lot of that stuff I just sell as either number one or number two because, <clears throat> Again, there's so much of it coming in from this guy. If I kept all the stuff that might be strippable, I'd be running out of room with that and all the computers that are stacking up. 
yeah yeah that's a, that's the thing at some stage especially when it's a business like as I say when it's a hobby you can say oh yeah i'll get that some evening or whatever you can leave it but when it's a business you have to get move the stuff on and make room for the next load of stuff that's coming in you know? yeah i'm thinking about i'm thinking about investing in one of those higher end strip meisters um because that little chinese knockoff thing that i have it does okay uh but I can only strip for about an hour or so, and then it, you know, then it's it, it just gets it, the 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 wheels get so hot that they just roll through the cable and the wire the you know the insulation won't grab and go through anymore, and then I'm sitting there pulling the wire through it and so. Yeah, I just bought one of them little them knockoff Chinese yokeens, so I'll see what it's like when it arrives next week. Oh, okay, so we don't have to watch that video. <laughs> uh, how's the basement doing <laughs> so, so you say that gopro is easy to use correct yeah well there here's the instruction manual for that gopro why you those instructions <laughs> and here's the here's the ass picker it's both sides of the paper <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my daughter, my daughter did this. I didn't do it. Oh man! <laughs> well, I, just, I just ordered a new webcam and a set of speakers. Because my speakers are bad. Oh shit! See that? It's only four stops away. What's only four stops away? I'm waiting for a new webcam and a new uh, oh. set of speakers for my computer. So see, he's there. I'm there. So he'll be ringing your phone in a minute. Oh wow. He'd be ringing your doorbell. I've been watching it because it's pouring rain here, and they just showing on the porch. So I just don't want the shit to get wet. Right. Well, it's gone. 10 p.m. here, so it's time to say goodbye. So before I go, um, Ralph, what's the plan? We know you had. If anyone doesn't know, Ralph had a video out last night. Yeah, a yeah. simple mail call video. What? Yeah. So, but, but they got some know? awesome stuff. Yes, you, you did. got the spelling right on it. Yeah, finally, someone uh, pointed uh, that out. Yes, <laughs> I can't. I, I have no idea what happened. Probably it was way too late. <laughs> so, what is the plan for the week? Have you any um, coming getting on, rid actually? of more stuff um, and um, maybe continuing on that um, those those pendants that I was making? Okay, um, but no video. Not sure when that video will be out, but I can't really give any promise on videos. Okay. Um, Parknest, what's the plan for you this week? <coughs> Friday, I've got another Volvo XC90 video. Okay. Covering the the major problem I had with it, major electrical problem. All all fixed now. I'm back in back in uh, back into daily use. Okay. And anything else? Or is that it? Just one video? No, that's it. Don't... Just one video. Yep. All right. Uh, Sharky, what's your plan for the week? So Monday is going to be uh, the stuff from the, the latest pickup from the hoarder house. And there's some pretty interesting stuff in there. Uh, Thursday, hopefully, is going to be a street scrap. We'll see how that turns out. You might have Christmas um, lights to pick up. Yeah, and then uh, who knows what else will happen during the week. OK. Uh, Mr. e -Waste Mike, do you plan on doing anything this week, or are you taking a week off? No, I'll do something. I don't know. I gotta make some uh, scrapyard phone calls. See if I can get up through the end of the year, month. Other than that, just tinkering around. You still haven't got um, a deal done with the scrapyard for the motors yet, no? I haven't even talked to him. Okay. I'm gonna. He's on my call list for tomorrow because I gotta see what e waste he has, and I have to call the other yard and see what he has, and I have a couple computer stores I gotta call, and then maybe play with all ones. I don't know. I'm trying to upgrade my uh, internet in the garage so I can live stream, but. I'm not really pressing that. Okay. It's quite simple. Just get a really long Ethernet cable, plug it in, toss it over a couple of branches from the trees, just hang it over to the, uh, make sure that it goes in, in the, the other shed. Well, I hook have. A, hook up a laptop or whatever. Well, I have a computer in there, but no, I want to get a better computer. modem. I, I think my router is dying because it's like four years old. So I want to get a better, a better router. Oh, my but router I'd have to run a cable probably, you know, 60 feet. And can you not use your phone as a hotspot? That's not very efficient. Yeah. Why? Because <clears throat> it's uh, 
wireless. Yeah, what he said. Okay. Yeah, just, just, just get a yeah, get a long no, wire. Ethernet, even said... Ethernet cable can go up to 100 meters without problems. Right. If you got a Cat 5e or Cat 6, oh, prefer preferably right. shield it. Yeah. What? Okay. What the hell? Um, so that's the end I'm of the I'm show. getting a phone that's call. Hold on. Oh, what did what did Rad say? Oh, we can't leave the I'm, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Okay. Um, we'll have to wait. Yeah. Rad, Rad You're going to be way call. over there. Oh, oh my God. Rad, Rad has to close the show, so. Uh, we have to wait for him. <laughs> At all, you know. And um, see what electron, yeah, electron scrapper with that wire and copper separator. What sort of money would one of them cost? Of you'd have to a copper wire to make it worth water, wouldn't you? That's you know that's the uh, that's the thing. Those um, you got to have some decent amount of steady uh, choppable type wire coming in and have pretty reasonable prices uh, to make those things economically viable. I've been looking at them because it would be kind of cool to have that, you know, and just get copper popping out the, uh, the other end of it. Um, but uh, yeah, we're not quite there yet. Mr. Matthews, how dare you? Oh, the best part. Mm -hmm. At the end of the show is the best part. Oh, <laughs> get, get your stuff out of here. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I was trying to see what kind of camera this was. Oh, I don't, don't know if it's the same one or not. Looks the same. Oh, I think Ralph is off the phone. Ralph done phone to friend. He's off. Put his headphones back on. Okay, and so, I'm back. Right, so it's the end of the show, um, or into the scrap chat, or into the meet up, whatever you want to call it. So um, I should have my video out on Thursday. And um, Ralph, you get to say the final words. I get to say the thing. I get to say the thing. Yes. yes. Scrap you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>